All right, y'all, I want to show y'all what's cool about Bite, and they show you a treatment. So this is my teeth before I got my my liners. You see over here, got a little issue, a little crookedness over there. So I'm going to show you by weeks. This is week two, and you start seeing the shifting. Watch the shifting that's going on. You see? So each tray is helping it align more and more. And that's just my first treatment that's on the top so when I'm done it'll be much straighter than where it began so over here it's where it started and this where it'll be towards the end so it's shifting in place so it's working it's cool highly recommend it We've been walking for at least a good 15 minutes. We still walking. This, this how they walk. Still just trying to get to a damn bag. All right, now then our bag ain't here. That's that long walk. That's that don't make sense. That's how they welcome you to New York. Walk. Welcome. You know, we up in Queens and my nigga Paul crib, you know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> I go get some breakfast. Uh oh, boys, we out and about. What's up? It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah, strip club stadium. So and then I look over and I see her friend talking to a man. He's like, Yeah, my friend told me he was here and all this and that. Y'all come down here. We're going to be dancing down there. Automatically, I knew, Oh, she thinks she, she about to get some money. Oh, little did she know I had 10 ones. And she's explaining to me what video she likes as she's dancing. So she's like, I remember that one video where y'all did that and that. And I'm, like, I'm like, man, that's 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 cool. You, it's like I see booty and and a nice uh, description of our videos. So then I, <laughs> I calmly took out three crisp ones and I, you know, put them right there and I watched it for a minute. And I took out about two more. Put them. So she walked away with a happy crisp five dollars that night. All right, so we outside the Roosevelt Field Mall in New York. It's cold. It's a little, it's a little cold. She says it's hot, but it's a little, it's a little chilly. See when that wind hit, I ain't really. The bad thing, see when the wind hit, I got on these sweatpants and I can't have a shriveled dick out here. I ain't, I ain't about that life. See when you don't see a price, they're expensive. Take the rim. One ten. You, you ready to go? Yeah, Wait, go. you're not gonna check. No, no, let's go. I don't know where to wear this at. Cause my body confused. My arms cold. <laughs> my head. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You look, you look stupid. That's what these New York boys be wearing the party. Why? Where they going? You look like you ready to dance. Get it. Mm. So she just got the selfie stick and. uh I mean, her selfie game finna be real dumb. Wait, yeah. you can't show the stick. You can't show. The, oh, my oh, God. oh God. Your oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Well, I mean, <laughs> I didn't know it was. Just spit. How see, do I get the stick out? See, of if it? Mike had this stick, do that. he could take All selfies right. from upstairs because his arm already long. Yeah, so the car is fixed. I don't know how Paul miraculous. Just put on his hazards day. and ran all the way up this. Okay, here he go again. All right, the car is broken one more time. The car, the car is, is broken, broken is what he is the story that he going all right. with. The car is broken. This guy's gonna try to jam it up. You my block. I like that. Boom. Okay. So go around this, this is how Paul driving right now. God damn it. Shit, man. And the car broke it, so he put on a hazard just drive on the side to avoid traffic in the truck. This the motherfucker truck here. It's alright. It's okay. My life. Okay. Who, who I'm going to cut yeah, off right now? Go watch this. Drive. Cut people who cut. That's the rule in the streets. <laughs> you cut, we cut. This is New York driving 101. You know what I'm saying? Right. Car broke. Car broke. 
It's like Where are we going to? Like, that's no uh, story. I'm no storyteller. I put to, uh, like Williamsburg Bridge right now. I'm from from there, we're going to go to Union Square. I got money for this. Right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Right. And then we're going to go through this interview. And we're going to go to the uh, Then we're going to go to the strip club. Ooh, the 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 club. Ooh, Cause tomorrow's not your first night and everything's gonna be back to normal. I'm sorry. Don't, don't get too tired. Shut up, bro. What what mama room. is like? Yes, yes, son. Go in there with the with the hoes and weave and, and yeah, rappers and, mama and just mamas that want that money, and that's wrong. Yeah, I know you can't read yet, but <laughs> carry your ass on in the club and make mama this money. Just got down on the read. I was like, I'm about to go do a goddamn speech somewhere. You look like he auditioning for power. <laughs> like, look at this guy. Look at that. Omari Hardwick. He about to go kill Omari Hardwick and power out there. <laughs> now we finna go to a Jesse. Jesse Boykins, Jessica Ware concert. So, niggas, it's one something in the morning. Niggas sleepy, but we still going to support booty. So I just woke up from a 24-hour eventful ass day. I may go back to sleep. I'm not, because I'm in New York, and I got to do it all over again today. Probably not 24 hours, but I'm going to go somewhere, because I'm in a new city, and I'm going to explore. So I'm about to go to the city on a journey. I'm about to take the, what line? The L-I-double-R. L-I-double-R. Yeah. It sounds like a rap group. So we about to go on a journey, because I don't know New York subway system or train system, so if I get lost, remember this. The Lost Chronicles of Cat. <laughs> So, I'm walking through Harlem right now, the state of my homegirl house. It's the rest of Harlem. Pretty nice, pretty nice little area. I mean, had a great birthday last night. I'm in Times Square right now. Um, everyone's looking up at this big board. I'm here with all the tourists. Looking like a tourist. Got home from a uh, strip club. I haven't been to, mind you, I haven't been to a strip club in like three years probably. And the strip club was kind of trash. It was, it was, I don't really, if you ain't taking no clothes off, this ain't no strip club. Just reached Fifth Ave, I'm just walking. I just know they always talk about Fifth Ave, so. But anyway, we get home, Cam had on these cream pants. We turned on the light. He had brown stains on his pants. At first, I was like, oh, somebody done shitted on his pants. Basically, what had um, happened was the stripper had makeup on their ass. Like, I don't know, who, who put makeup on their butt cheek? Still exploring the city. I'm on Fifth Ave right now, I'm about to go see a friend. I'm on 32nd, she on 56. It's about to be a walk. But I'm gonna do it. Since when they started doing that, I remember face makeup with butt makeup. Moral story is don't wear cream pants to the club because you might end up with uh, makeup in your lap. So I walked about 20 something blocks to come see her. So that she was better late. be. It was not light. That was late. When the last time you walked 20 blocks? Yesterday. You, are, you, are Real New York. you are lying. You are lying. You are lying. Name the Real blocks. New Yorker. Name the blocks. I block. walked from 56th Street to 23rd Street. What's up? God damn. <laughs> That's more than I did today. Shit. You got it. Where should I go from here? You should go to Pinkberry or to Central Park. Go to Central Park. It's really nice out today. Where's that at? Oh, I it's get on there 59th Street. You just walk three blocks and to make a left, and it's right there. That close? Yay! Cam's gonna go to Central Park. No, I can say I was gonna go, but I'm oh, just right. saying. Okay. <laughs> I'm at Central Park now. Came all the way down to 59th. See some of the park. I never actually walked in the park. I've seen it before, but never walked. So that's what we doing. Climbing up this damn rock. Oh. As you can see, try and get to the top. See what we see. View from top of the rock. City in the back. It's pretty nice. 
I'm in Columbus Circle right now. About to walk down 8th, 8th Street, 8th Avenue, my bad. Go back towards 42nd. Meet up with another friend. So let's continue this journey. Been out here since 1. It's going on 7. So I'm in Starbucks right now. Charging up my phone. So I'm waiting to meet up with um, my homeboy, my homegirl at this lounge, I think. Hopefully it's cool. Hopefully it's fun. Hopefully got good drinks. And cute girls. And hopefully this guy right behind me is not there. We're in this lounge. Where we at? Laurel. How you say it? Laurel. Laurel. Now, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm just going to keep talking like you can because I know this is loud. I'm in the middle of this deflation. But today, I'm going to go to the Museum of Sex and bounce on some titties. I'm in a bouncing titty room. <laughs> oh, I'm going in between. Oh, oh. I feel stuck. <laughs> yeah, that, that dick getting it. I'll show y'all something for me. These what? These are real. People buy these. Why? From two years ago. So we made it back to Jamaica, Queens. At the day downtown. Me and Paul. Hey. We both in the green today. Yep. Green and brown. I didn't even realize that, man. We're going to link back up with Rome tonight Later. because it's Toronto in the morning. Uh oh. All right, so it's 7 in the morning in New York. And you're officially looking at two of the old members. Uh oh. About to head to Toronto. We're back at JFK, and I think uh, JFK stands for. Just freaking killing me because this walk is just stupid. Damn, too tam. That's so we were riding tam for the first time. Hey, let me tell you about tam though. So the flight was cheap. Our tickets were like fifty dollars, and then we didn't have to check no. Well, we checked our bags, but we had to pay. Yeah, when they, when, when I seen we had to pay, that's when I knew this was this was the flight for us. Waiting on Boss Bags now. That's what it's a new company that we work with, Boss hey, Bags. This girl, she tried to skip the line because she looked good. Mm -hmm. But she got humbled. She got humbled today. Because ain't nobody too damn for Tam. She so got humbled. Tam Airline Humbler, she had to go right to the back of the line. They told her get humbled or get stumbled. See, she thought it was a glove so she could just skip the line. Uh, now them looks ain't gonna work over here. Not on Tam. Them followers ain't gonna work over here. Not on Tam. Not on Tam Airlines. Nope. No one's too damn for Tam. We just got here and already out. Already out. They thought we was gonna touch down and not get out. Cause we gotta eat. So we just left the Amsterdam brew house. There was nine bit of black people in there. We were the only black faces in there. But guess what? It's time. We here. So we gonna eat. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't never had nobody hand me no barbecue sauce. This shit burned my fingers. Some hot ass sauce. So you walk in here, this is what they call the uh, the uh-oh room. This is where uh-oh meetings take place. And this is where you cook up uh-oh recipes. And when I say uh-oh recipes, I only talk about the, the finest dining and the most exquisite things you can get. We got the airport right there because that's, that's actually where we was born, at the airport. We got a food spa table, that's just for physical fitness. And yeah, that's where Cam is gonna be sleeping at, like a boss. We go over here. Ain't nothing to sleep on the plane. We got a bathroom, you know what I'm saying? We It's a Japanese toilet. It got a little uh, button system down here to clean your butt. And we come in here, that's where I'll be staying. I, <laughs> I got the TV in here. You know, the bed laid out right here. And now we just trying to figure out how to get around the city because we, we was too broke to get a, a rental car. So, just go on. Well, actually, all the money went into this. We had another Jesse Ware, um, uh, Jesse Boykins concert. I will go to you, you will be the one, and I will be the drunk. I'm loving this city. Uh, 
I remember when I was younger. So it should, I mean, I told my dad that I could live in Toronto without ever going before it was cool to say, I guess, no, oh, no, or Drake. I think the that we gave and now that I came for the first time, so that's fine. You, I'm loving it. And I could possibly live there. And where are we headed now? Yeah, the bar club, bar code nightclub. I'm so Ever since New York, we've been having like 24 hour eventful days. And I have barely gotten any sleep. And our first day in Toronto was the same. We got home around four something, fell asleep. Now it's eight something, four hours of sleep and my body hates me. But guess what? Gotta keep going. Hello. Yeah, man. What's up, man? Love yeah, so you know, we we taking the nephews, uh, whatever Toronto got. Yeah, for the back seat. Yeah. So we taking them. Man. <laughs> yeah, actually, they taking us. Yeah, so. yeah, we in the back seat, like the children. So. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a child's lock on, and we're taking them to Mississauga. And um, what are we gonna do, in Mississauga? We're going to square one. Yeah. Check out some shit. And eat poutine. Poutine. Poutines are. I'm with it. Okay. Poutines are. Not bad. Not mm -hmm. bad. Okay. It's going to come out bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you don't go in bad. When we first started, um, we got like a lot of like hate saying, oh, we're the fake ass dorm tamers, uh, dorm tamer 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> they said I had the space to, group. They said I was biting Mike because I had the Mike 3G beard <laughs> at the time. You got a Mike beard, fuck you. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it was like a lot of hate, especially when we hit Worldstar. Um, a lot of people would say that. Hold on, puddle. Um, but then, like, I remember I reached out to Mike and I tweeted him and then he followed me and DM'd me. He's just like, oh, he gave me basically advice. And uh, like, I feel like, like he was the, the reason why yeah, he was the reason video. why we, we kept like going and we, we shortened our videos because um we had I sent him a video that was eight minutes long and it was called the Magic Homie, I think. And then, <laughs> that was uh, unfinished business. The unfinished business, yeah, yeah. I sent him unfinished business and it was eight minutes long. He said, Yo, what you guys need to do, you guys are funny, but you guys need to shorten your videos mm -hmm. and put all the comedy in like just that three minutes. Yeah, and yeah, so we we listened to him and that's why we do short videos. So thank you. The, it was, that was the Mike three G. Hey, but you yeah, know what's funny now? Mike. We doing eleven minutes. Now we doing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so Mike, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but it made sense what he said. Yeah, no, that, that's cool though, man. Because niggas niggas need to reach out yeah. and give more advice, man. Stop hating. Stop all this hate in the world. Stop hating and help each other, man. Everyone can so come can, up so together. We can all squad up. And, and like, mind you, we were at uh, like three hundred subscribers when he reached out to us, and they were at like. I don't even know. They were huge. And then, yeah, so it was nice. Touch my heart, Mike. Thank you. Thank Love you so Mike. much. You're getting a behind the scenes <laughs> of a of an IG shoot. <laughs> because what we about to show y'all is about to at least get a stack of likes. And if y'all give me a stack, I'm quitting YouTube. I'm done. And you know you, and you know you got to post it on primetime hours, which is between 5 to 9. Huh? Five and, oh yeah, they don't recognize oh, us. Yeah, he famous, man. <laughs> I'm about to turn this. Oh, you can see the view that we about to get. Are you ready? Let's go. That's gonna be dumb. We look like a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you did. <laughs> like, all right, Cam, I got you, yo. Hey, hey, he, hey, he was hating on, on me and Cam photography game and shit. This nigga over here look like a beige rock and shit. <laughs> Said your booty got a stain on it, and I don't like it. Your booty, yeah, girl, you you need to wipe it. You need to swipe it, left and right it. And if it smell bad, then good night it. Hey, I'm gonna show these guys around. Probably get some uh, chicken and waffles up here. 
we can't eat chicken. Though. What's up? You guys want to eat chicken? We're pescatarian, so only you actually pescatarian for real? Yeah, yeah, man. I thought that was a joke. Oh, no, no, that was for real. real. Wow, this is a this is oh, like yeah. a, this is like a true life documentary going <laughs> on right now. So when did you start this uh, pescatarian? When that song dropped? No, April 18th. April eighteenth. April eighteenth. So it'll be one year coming wow. up. But guess what I'm gonna do on April eighteenth to celebrate? I'm gonna have a chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Square. Uh, heat center behind us. Nice. Nice day out. We out here shooting some beautiful shots. They almost look like they should be in GQ. <laughs> the Toronto City in the background. Mike's doing his thing. One of the best shoots I've ever been on. Now we have to Drake Hotel. No, it's not Drake's Hotel. Yes, it's food. not Drake's Hotel, but it's called Drake Hotel. And get some food. Ironic. It's very ironic. It's actually a college called Drake College, and that's not his college. Either. <laughs> There's a lot of things called Drake that's not Drake's. Just ate some good food. Yeah. Really good. I had a really good uh, coconut shrimp uh, roll. Sushi roll. Yeah, so I had like this salmon scorcher thing. Sushi was good. And then I had a. Uh, some good crab cakes. Yeah, so it was real good, and I had it was like the sauce that was with it. I had a chicken burger. No, I didn't. I had a, I had a, I had a beef burger, and it was delicious. <laughs> All right, and so also I had a nice cold. Drink. Yeah, then I had some nice water, and the aesthetics is nice in here. Some pretty girls in here. Toronto got the girls. I think you went past me a little. Oh, oh, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it's um, it's, it's a beautiful atmosphere and everything. Yeah, so, so what are you Man, so we're in the Drake Hotel, not Drake's Hotel, but Drake Hotel. Just chilling out, you know, having some good food, drinks, good atmosphere. Oh, okay. We see these three girls sitting by a window. Short story, they look good. Yeah, they're, they're, they're people. They're people. They look good. They look good. They One look had good. eyes, me and Rome are suckers for eyes. Yeah. They look good. They look good. So Rome decided to do a little old school trick. You know I'll let him, I'll let him tell it. You it's know, his story. I mean, I wanted to, you know, I could I could have just went over there. But you know, she was with her friends. I ain't, I didn't want to be rude, so I was like, you know what? Because it could get awkward real. It fast. It could get awkward real fast. So I was like, you know what? She probably ain't had this old school in a long time, if she uh -huh. ever had it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna leave the name and number on a piece of paper. Name, number, and the Instagram. I told him leave the Instagram uh -huh. so she can see. She, she gonna, gonna want to see. She gonna see. And she gonna, she gonna see them nice pictures on there. Oh, yeah. Bear, at the least, she gonna go check the she Instagram. Gonna she like what she see and have a sense of humor. She, she gonna hit them up. She gonna hit me up. We so. may end up on a double date tonight. <laughs> so I'm in Graffiti Alley. All this nice artwork. I'm gonna show y'all. You can see behind me. It's everywhere. Actually kind of cool. I'm about to eat at Burrito Boys. I saw it on Google. They said it was a good spot. So we about to go in. Running through the six with my walls. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. I was running through the city with my wolf. So, you know, our attempt to, uh, you know, get the girl to respond back. Going to the eating center for the meet and greet. Meet and greet. Nobody come then. Yeah, nobody come. Nobody come. Y'all still gonna see them. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, they see four y'all at the booth like they ain't scared to show no footage. You gotta show these humbling moments. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna get some lobster rolls, and that's what I'm kind of most excited about. Not that I don't appreciate the fans, but these lobster rolls. Like, we're waiting on that. We're, 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 we're lost. <laughs> How we gonna set a fan meet up? And we don't know where to go. All right. Alright, so we, uh, we finally made it. So we finally got some fans. Yeah. 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 Noise! Noise! Yeah. Noise. Yeah. Wake up in the morning feeling kinda defeated. My alarm didn't go off, so I'm kinda heated. Uh. Breakfast is for Jeffy, so I got to stay eat it. And I like my eggs like muscle, so I got to defeat it. Uh. Rolling out the bed, uh. getting touch and yes, I'm running. Uh. I skip to the kitchen, uh. tell my mom and them good morning. Mm. Wakey, wakey, uh. won't you pass a plate? Mm. If you don't remember, but mine not eating no bacon. Mm. Now I don't want to come off like I'm straight this in. Hey. But y'all don't know want to be up in my kitchen. Mm. Dumpling, ackee, and saltfish, and minty. Mm. Call me Chef Z, because I'll be chef in Lil' Plan. Uh. The good stuff, I'll pass on the bacon. Because if you didn't know, I'd be straight Jamaican. Uh -huh. Call me a pirate, I'll buy my food. And your TV's agree well. Uh. 
so our whole mission on this trip was to get a lobster roll from Fish Street Market. Okay? We show up to Fish Street Market. And this is what it says. Fish Street will be closed today. Chef Anthony is taping a new Food Network show. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sorry for the inconvenience. You're damn right. You, you, you need to be sorry because this is some bullshit. Oh, I hope you okay Actually, I hope you do. I do. Man. Well, plan B. Fresh goes. Got a shrimp pole boy. Lobster pole boy. What you got? What y'all got? Uh, that's got a, a chicken sandwich. We need some fries. Yo, me? I got what you got. We got a lot of yep. shrimp pole boy. No. Oh. And you say poutine? Poutine. Uh, you know, shout out to four y'all, ENT. Shout out to Mike for doing the photo shoot for us. Not our Mike. The, the Toronto Mike. Toronto. Mike Bamboo. Yeah, Mike Bamboo. Yeah, so, uh... I'm Just sad. hold on. We're coming home. You know, I wanted to give them a gift for, you know, showing us around. So I got y'all some... A half a loaf of bread. Loaf of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then this I real, got, man. um... The stuff that Trey left in my book bag that was already yeah. his. I'm just returning. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. So, this is tight. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. that, you know. And, you know, I'll give you a bag, too, so you ain't got to carry yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll put it back in yeah. the bag. That's what's up. We figured yeah, the up. bread just symbolizes, you know what I'm saying, always stay getting money. Stay hungry. Y'all gonna get exactly. it. You know what I'm saying? We all had a half bread, bread together. Yeah, and then the bars just represents us just being good people and we giving them back. Because I think the half a loaf stands for the half of money we got right now. We're yeah. trying to get the full The full loaf, loaf. Right yeah, exactly. So, exactly. so uh, yeah, we headed to the airport. So once again, they want to put two bosses at the last gate. The last gate again. 57. Gate 57. We and, it starts at, and it starts at 32. But the other side starts at 58. So they couldn't understand. give us 58. I don't understand. I, we, every, literally every time we go to the airport, it's like the, the last gate. Look at this hallway. We just crossed 32. Hey man, but the old boys, it was successful, our old trip, our first our old business venture. It was two weeks of fun. So now we've motivated, ready to get back to work. Yeah, so. It was two weeks. And why? So, you know, Toronto. if you want to join the old team, y'all fill out your application. We've got applications out, so. Just save up your money. So we, we contemplating where we're going next. It could be Vancouver. Could be London. Only serious inquiries, please. The end of the journey. We was in North Carolina, went to New York, then Toronto. It's been a long one. Now we back in LA. It was amazing. It was I amazing. think there's only one way we can end this vlog.